Lucas Media. I don't know what's going on with Ryan Garcia, but he j- I just seen where he was on online and he broke down emotionally talking about people are going to people trying to get him to cancel his fight and you know the holy spirit and it's almost like he's portraying this to be a holy war and that he's trying to do good against evil at first i thought it was it was all to sell tickets i even had people in my comment section tell me that but i really feel like ryan needs to get the help that he needs but there's too much money on the line but ryan need to he need to get some help honestly i mean he he hasn't been himself ever since the tank davis fight personally he he seemed a little different even his last fight when he was trying to put the shell in and he had his back turned i'm like ryan you're gonna get deleted in that ring trying to do that against an elite fighter but Ryan need to, he need to pull out. But I don't, I personally don't think he is. There's too much money on the line. Tickets are being sold. The fight is what a month away already. A month away. So it's it's, it's coming down to the crunch. But I, I feel like he he should have stepped down. Even even the press conferences, he don't see himself. He's not really talking. And then he's going on these online rants on on there with Andrew Tate talking about I seen this. This happened to me and. But I, it, it, I don't know. We'll see. But it just even when it, when you seen clips of him shadow boxing and training, he just seems off, right? But the the person who gonna take the biggest loss is Devin Haney, because Devin Haney's in a in a lose lose situation. If Ryan Garcia go out there and beat him, they're gonna try to end Devin Haney's career, meaning the the so called boxing fans and the media. But if Devin go out there and he dominate Ryan Garcia, people are going to say, oh, Ryan needs help. Ryan this, Ryan that. Ryan wasn't himself in that fight, Devin. He hasn't been the same since Tank stopped him last year. You know, he got a... Ryan was a, was a shell of himself once Devin Haney got to him. These are the excuses that you're going to hear. And it just... I don't know, bro. I don't know. I've always said this, that Ryan... I was a fan of Ryan, but Ryan never, he never, never won a belt. He's never even been a, a WBA regular champion, a franchise champion, a McDonald's champion, but yet he's one of the biggest fighters out there. And I just felt like Ryan had to earn his stripes, but he wasn't, he was pushed to the forefront and now here we are, but this is a, a, a must win fight for any, for both these fighters. I saw a 78 sports TV video on it as well. It's almost like both their careers are on the line. If Ryan loses, I mean, where does he go from here? And unfortunately with Devin, he can't make no mistakes because they're just waiting on him to take one loss. One loss. And they're going to try to end his career. So this is a a must win for both fighters. All the chips are on the line. Uh, Maybe Ryan, is that why you're crying? Because you know know what's coming down to to the wire. But I hope that even if he continues to fight, he gets himself together before this, the, the fight within a month. Well, I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?